Hey there. Uh, today we're going to continue our devotional series on faith by looking at what it means to have a faith that trusts in God despite our circumstances, despite the, the suffering that we might be going through. And I think the, the best example for us to look at uh, for that is the life of Joseph in the Old Testament. Many of you, I'm sure, know his story. Uh, and for the full details, uh, you can read Genesis 37 through 50. Uh, but just as an overview, we know that through a different set of circumstances, when he was 17 years old, he was first uh, left for dead by his brothers and then sold into slavery by his brothers. He was taken to Egypt and uh, became a slave in someone's house. and. He was wrongfully accused of a crime, and so his master threw him in prison. And when he was in prison, he uh, helped someone who worked for Pharaoh, who promised to remember him and tell Pharaoh that there was someone who could help. Uh, but it was another two years before that promise was kept that he actually did remember. And so the, the timeline really is, we know that for 13 years, Joseph was either a slave or a prisoner. And so in my mind, if there's anybody that had a reason to lose faith or uh, shake their fist at God or get angry because he left them or he didn't care what was going on, uh, it was probably Joseph. But we know in scripture, it tells us that even throughout all of that, he kept his faith because he knew that God was a God who kept his promises, that he would be faithful because he watched God be faithful to his great grandfather Abraham and his grandfather Isaac and to his father Jacob. And he had seen how he was faithful even in his own life. We know probably the most famous quote from the entire story of Joseph you find in Genesis chapter 50 and verse 20, he's forgiving his brothers for what he did to them or for what they did to him rather. And he tells them, that while they meant it for evil, God meant it for good. And we see in, in our main text uh, for this series in Hebrews 11, uh, verse 22, the Bible says, by faith, Joseph, when he died, made mention of the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. And now I know I've thought several times this week of all the things in Joseph's life why did the writer of Hebrews pick this moment? It's a reference to Genesis 50, 24 and 25, when Joseph is literally on his deathbed. He is dying and of all the, to me, all the cool things that, that have gone on in Joseph's life, the way he kept his faith, the way he endured, why not talk about those things? But for whatever reason, the Holy Spirit inspired that person to write that by faith, Joseph had this conversation, and it's a, a reference again to when he's looking at his family and he says, I'm dying, but God will surely come visit you and he will take you into the land that was promised to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. And when he does, take my bones with you. So the faith that Joseph has through all of his suffering, through all of the hardship he endured, and even at the end of his life, even after spending 93 years in a wicked place like Egypt, Joseph still knows that God will be faithful, and even though they are not in the promised land, God will come and get them again, and he will take them back. I don't know what suffering you may be going through today. It might be physical, emotional, it might be financial, it might be relational. And I don't know how long you've been going through it or what the journey has been like to this point. And I don't have answers of what it might be like in the future. But I do know that God is faithful. We can look at the life of Joseph and see his faith of endurance and his faith in God, not only in what God can do for him. When you feel like you're in the midst of something and it seems like God doesn't care, God isn't listening or God isn't answering you when you want him to, 
I want to encourage you to remember what scripture says about his nature and about his character. We know that he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. We also know that just like Joseph said, God takes everything that happens and for those of us that love him, he works them together for our ultimate good and for his glory. So whatever you're dealing with, God sees you. He is still working. We just have a decision to make. Are we going to put our faith in God? Are we going to put our faith in what God can do for us? Joseph had a faith that endured suffering. And God is just as faithful today as he was then. And he will keep his promises to you.